Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verses 49 and 50, where it is written. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him. Whoever is not against you is for you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. He doesn't follow with us. He's not one of us. Get him out of here. Stop. Whoever's not against us is for us. This is very interesting for me as a pastor. Here, in this very sanctuary, we have a baptismal font. We celebrate the Eucharist. Down the street is St. Joseph's Church. They have the same things. I know that... Um, and Moraga, there's St. John's, uh, the Evangelist Orthodox Church. We all have uh, baptism, we all have Eucharist in our church. And people, especially online, will get into very vicious arguments about which one of us is the true church and which one of us isn't. And of course, everyone is convinced that they're the true church and the other ones aren't. And they can get some very heated, yeah, I'll see you in hell, from heaven kind of arguments. What are we doing? Seriously. What does Jesus Christ say here? Whoever's not against you is for you. We have some very heated theological debates. Absolutely. And let's be honest. If you're not a clergy, if you're not uh, an academic, most people don't know and don't care. I think it's God's lesson to me. You're not the Pope. You're not the Patriarch. You don't know everything. Just do what God has called you to do. That's not just my lesson. That's all of our lessons. God has us here for a reason. He's transfigured us in that baptism, in that absolution, in the hearing of the Word, and the Eucharist. Because God is setting out in this world to complete this mission of saving it, of transfiguring it, to be back to its Edenic state. You can't do that if you're getting to endless pedantic arguments about things, all kinds of academic issues. There's one church. There's one Jesus. And by baptism, we are part of it. The end. And we get out of the academic, the Catholic, Orthodox, whatever world, and get into everyday lives among other Christians, and which you may have disagreements with. They could be very serious, but in the end, there's only one Jesus Christ. This world needs saving. What are we doing fighting over this stuff? Knowing that the average person, both the person that's interested in the gospel or the average parishioner doesn't even care, couldn't tell you uh, their left from the right hand. What are we doing? I conclude with a prayer that the Holy Spirit may guide us to God's purpose for us. Lord, we can be egotistical, we can be childish. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, come to us, heal us of these things, and guide us into your uh, right mission so your kingdom may come. Amen.